What? Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be an empties video and if you are new to my channel or you don't know what an empties video is, basically it's where I show you all of the products that I've either used up or stopped using and I give you like a little mini review on them and whether I would repurchase them or not. I have this massive bag full of empty products that I need to throw away. I'm not going to give a very long introduction, I just want to get into it, so let's just get started. Okay, so the first product I have is a Batiste Sassy and Daring Wild Dry Shampoo. If you've watched any of my other empties videos, you would know that this is my favourite dry shampoo brand of all time, and this particular can is my favourite dry shampoo. I just love the smell of it, I'm actually, I've got it in my hair at the moment. Um, it just smells very like, sexy. Like it's like a vanilla-y, spicy, like nighttime scent. It's really nice. Next we have the Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse. And if you've been watching me for a while, you know that this is my holy grail way to take off my makeup. I have quite sensitive eyes, so I don't normally use this around the eye area. I've tried it before and I find that the oil gets into my eyes and they get kind of sore. But this is really good for taking off face makeup. Basically it's an oil and you just put like a pump into your hand and then massage it over your skin with your makeup still on, even liquid lipstick, and then you just get a little bit of water onto your hands and you just rub it in to emulsify it and until it goes into kind of a milk and then you just rinse it off and all of your makeup is gone. It's incredible. The only downside to this is that the packaging, I find that I don't know why but the oil always leaks out of the pump really weird but that's the only downside to it. Next up we have the original source vanilla and raspberry shower gel. This is one of my favorite shower gels in the whole wide world. It smells like strawberry milkshakes. It smells so good and it's quite cheap too. I find that this is probably like five dollars or something. Next up is the bigger bottle. So this is the 250 ml and this is the 500 ml. Next up I have the Ren Clear Calm Clarifying Clay Cleanser. Now this was really interesting. This felt like a mud mask. It was really strange, but you'd pump out a little bit of it. It's hard to see, but it has a little bag in there. So the bag is filled up and as you pump, the bag like shrinks. So you're not missing any of the product, but it feels like a mud mask when you put it on. It's actually like clay and then you just rinse it off and it kind of, when you rinse it out and it's in the sink, it's a little bit bubbly like it's been foaming a little bit. I found that this cleaned my skin really nicely. I did really like it. I didn't find that it was stripping my skin or anything because I do have quite sensitive combination skin. So if I use cleansers that are a little bit too clarifying, I find that my skin feels really tight and dry and a little bit sore and it goes really red. Next up we have Ultra Blend by Lush and this is a cleanser. I can't 100% say that I loved it or I hated it. It's kind of like a balm and you put it onto your skin and then you use like a face washer and you use that to take it off instead of using water. I found that if I tried to use water to get it off, it would get really sticky on my hands. I found that it felt quite good for my skin and quite nourishing, but I don't know how well it cleaned my skin. I feel like when I use something like Angels on Bare Skin by Lush with my Clarisonic, my skin feels a lot more clean. And because I am quite acne prone, I find that having clean skin is really important to me. It was still good, but I don't think I would use it again. Next up, we have the GoTo Skincare Exfoliating Swipies. And I liked these, but I didn't love them. I love chemical exfoliation, which is what these are, but I prefer the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Peel Pads because they have the two-step process using the AHAs and the BHAs. Whereas this was just one step and it said to use it at night time. I like to use mine in the morning before I do my makeup so my skin is all nice and fresh. They still worked quite well, I just prefer the Dr. Zenis Gross. Next up we have the Mario Badescu Alpha Grapefruit Cleansing Lotion. So this is just a toner. I've spoken about this in a few of my other empty videos so I won't go into too much detail. I do really like this toner, it's really good for a light exfoliation but it's good for sensitive skin as well. It won't give you too much sensitivity. 
I also like that this one doesn't have a lot of alcohol in it, which a lot of toners tend to. I'm still using one of these at the moment. I still really like it. I do find that it's quite good for my skin. I have another Boutique's Wild Dry Shampoo. Next up, we have a five pack of the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Peel Pads in the Universal Formula. These are really great because they're chemically exfoliating your skin rather than physically exfoliating your skin. And physical exfoliators aren't that good for you because you are just rubbing your skin and they aren't just targeting the dead skin cells, it's also targeting the fresh new skin cells. They also can be quite harsh on your skin and they can cause little micro tears in the skin, whereas with chemical exfoliation they're just targeting the dead skin cells. And these ones in particular are really good because they're a two-step process. So you've got your first step which has your alpha hydroxy acids and basically what they do is that they eat the gum that holds the dead skin cells to the skin's surface so they help to smooth away the debris and the dead skin that's on your face. Then you have the second step which has your beta hydroxy acid salicylic acid and it has a lot of hydrating and nourishing ingredients in it too. So what salicylic acid does is it cleans out the gunk that's inside your pores so it helps to like clean out everything that's in there and it stops you from getting as many pimples because your skin isn't getting all infected from the gunk that's in your pores. And then the other ingredients that's in the second step helps to nourish your skin and bring back some of the hydration that it's lost. I love these. I'm using the extra strength formula in the 30 day treatment at the moment. I love it, so good. These are really great for anti-aging and for if you've got like scarring or redness and brightening up the skin because they help to speed up the process of cell renewal. So basically your newer skin cells are getting pushed to the front, to the top of your skin and it's helping to speed up that process. So that's happening more often. So you've got fresher, nicer, plumper, brighter looking skin. Next up we have the Mario Badescu Special Cucumber Lotion. So this is another toner. I didn't like this one as much as the Alpha Grapefruit Cleansing Lotion because this has a lot of alcohol in it. And even though it's aimed towards oily skin types who may want to dry out their skin a little bit and stop a lot of that oil, I found that this dried my skin out a little too much. I would just be wary when you're purchasing toners just because a lot of them do contain a lot of alcohol in them and that can really dry out your skin. Next up we have the Frosted Plum Bath Fizzes by The Body Shop and I really liked these. I love taking baths and I love lush bath bombs and where I was working at Mecca in Southland they didn't have a lush while I was there, they do now which is incredibly annoying. But they didn't have a Lush, so I went to the body shop to see if they had any bath bombs. And this was around Christmas last year. I don't know if they still do these year round or whether they're just for Christmas. But these were basically little squares and they were little bath fizzes. So they're not like bath bombs and all like amazing colours or anything. But they fizzed up the bath and they... The bath became almost like a purpley white milky sort of consistency and it smelled really good and I felt like my skin was really being hydrated. I really liked those. I would like to repurchase them. Next up we have the Ren Clear Calm Replenishing Gel Cream and I use this as like a treatment during the day and I found that this was really good at controlling my oily skin and helping to stop a lot of breakouts. I did really like this. I haven't repurchased it because I'm trying other products and I'm liking my skincare routine at the moment, but I wouldn't be mad if I got this again. Next up we have one of the Batiste Cherry Dry Shampoos and I liked this because it still works the same way as the wild one. I just don't like the smell as much. I mean, it's fine. I get others when I have to, but if the wild one is there, that's the one I get. Next we have an Angels on Bare Skin by Lush. If you've been watching me for a while, you know that this is one of my holy grail cleansers. Basically, it's like little bits of clay, like it's really hard in the pot and you have to break it off. And it has little bits of lavender in it. So the way that you use your cleanser is that you break off a little like pea-sized amount and then you add some water to it and you mix it together until it becomes kind of like a paste. It says to make it either a paste or a milk. I prefer it when it's like a paste and then you just rub that on your face and I find that it really helps to tone down my redness and I always feel like my skin is really clean without feeling like it's stripped of its oils. Like it never makes my skin feel tight or anything which I really like. 
Next up we have the Corez Bergamo Pear Shower Gel. I didn't use this as a shower gel, I used this as a bubble bath. It was a pretty expensive bubble bath but it was really nice and it smelled really good. I don't know if I would repurchase this again with the intention to use it as a bubble bath, but I might repurchase it to use it as a shower gel. However, it's a bit expensive and I do prefer this one. Next up we have the Batiste Mamba Dry Shampoo and I again didn't like the smell of this one as much. It smells quite powdery, like it's not awful but I prefer the wild. Next up we have the Mario Badescu Oil Free Moisturiser. I used to use this one during the day but I didn't like it as much as my buttermilk moisturiser. I found that it wasn't as moisturising, like it was fine but I wouldn't get this one, I would get the buttermilk. Speaking of which, I have one of the Mario Badescu Buttermilk Moisturizers. I do really, really like this one. I find that it's really nice moisturizing without over moisturizing my skin. I'm not using this at the moment. I, Like I said before, I'm trying some new other things, but I would get this again. Next up, I have a YSL Mascara. This is the Mascara Singulier. Um, it says shade 6. This was a purple mascara. My mum gave this to me and I loved it because it was YSL, but it's dried out, which is really sad because it was really cool. Next up we have the Origins Mega Mushroom Skin Relief Soothing Face Cream. And I use this as a nighttime moisturizer and I really, really, really liked it. I haven't repurchased it because I'm using Skin Drink by Lush, but I would definitely repurchase this in the future. This range is targeted towards sensitive skins and dry skins. I found that it was amazing for my skin. It really calmed down the redness. And I think I mentioned this before in one of my videos saying that it broke me out. I decided to try it again and it turns out that my skin was just purging and this was actually really good for it. Next up we have one of Essence's Make Me Brows. This is their Brow Mascara in Blondie Brows. This is so, so similar to Benefit Gimme Brow. It's got a really fine brush, which I really like. Because it's so small, it just gets into the brows really nicely. It doesn't put product everywhere. I've already repurchased this. It's $5 from Priceline and I really recommend it. It's a brow gel, but it has little fibers in it that kind of attach to your brows and make them appear fuller. It's so, so similar to Gimme Brow by Benefit. Next up, we have a Catastrophe Cosmetic Face Mask by Lush. And this is only in here because I forgot that it was in the fridge and I didn't use it. This used to be blue, definitely expired and dried out. This is their blueberry face mask and it's really good to calm down your skin. Like if your skin is like really red or you're breaking out a lot, this is really good to calm it down. And it also has a lot of antioxidants in it, which are really good because they help to fight free radicals that age your skin. I do really like this and I would definitely repurchase it. Next, we have a deluxe sample of the Red and Clear Calm Replenishing Gel Cream. Next is the Vaseline Total Moisture Dry Skin 24 Hour Nourishing Lotion. I kept this in my handbag as a hand cream. I did really like it. I found that it really helped to nourish my skin. And I like these small sizes for my handbag so I don't have to carry like a big hand cream. It's just nice to have. Next we have a Garnier Micellar Water. I've spoken about this hundreds of times, but this is like one of my favorite ways to take off my eye makeup. I really like it. I find that it works really well. Have already repurchased. Next up we have the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation in the shade 1.0. I did really like this foundation. I haven't repurchased it yet. I did like it, but I found that it wasn't the sort of coverage that I normally like. Normally I like a fuller coverage. And I found that this clung to any dry patches that I might have when I was having a little bit more of a dehydrated day. But other than that, it was really nice. Next up, we have a Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe, Herbs and Rose Water. I've spoken about this a bajillion times. I love this spray. It's so nice and nourishing and hydrating while setting your makeup and settling down the powders. This size here is 118 mils and it's $10, but they've brought out a 236 ml bottle for $17. So I have one of these in my bathroom downstairs and this stays with my makeup. I love it. Next up, we have the Pure Germ Botanical Choice Vital Radiance Hair Mask in Honey. I don't know 
where you get this from. My mum gave it to me. I think she probably got it in one of her ballot boxes. This was so nice. It made my hair super, super shiny. It was really nice. Um, now this is in German or something, but the back also had French on it. And I studied a little bit of French when I was at university, so I could still read the instructions. I would repurchase it, but I don't know where or how. Next up, I had a little sample from Lush. This was the Yuzu and Coco Shower Cream. This was so nice and it smelled so good. It smelled like oranges and it was really hydrating and it was really nice and I would love to buy the full size. So good. I really like the Lush shower gels because they smell so good. But they're so expensive. Like when you compare it to this, which is like five bucks and I love this. $16.50 for a shower gel, it seems a little bit much. Next I have a little handmade hand cleansing gel by Soap and Glory. Now this is just a hand sanitizer. Again, I love to keep these in my handbag because I catch public transport because I don't have my license and it gets icky. So I like to have hand sanitizer. I'm also very weird about germs and I like to wash my hands all the time. So I really like this and I've already repurchased it. Like four dollars from Mecca. Next I have a Mario Badescu Honey Moisturizer. Now this is really really nice and hydrating. It is targeted towards dry and sensitive skin types. I used to use this as my nighttime moisturizer but as I said I'm using my Lush Skin Drink Moisturizer now so I haven't repurchased this but I do really like it. Next up we have my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in the shade Mont Blanc and if you've been watching me, you know this is my holy grail foundation. This is my favorite in the whole wide world. I just, nothing makes my skin look as good as this. I just wish that they had a shade that matched me a little bit better. Mont Blanc is quite pink and I'm quite neutral, so sometimes it looks a little orangey on me. But the other colors like Deville and Gobi and Siberia are a bit too light or a bit too yellow so I can't quite pull them off. I'm already running out of my repurchased one so I'm gonna have to buy it again but I use it so often it's my favorite. Next we have a little sample size of the Coro's Milk Proteins 3-in-1 Cleansing Emulsion and I loved this. This was like a milk so it didn't dry out my skin at all. It was really, really nice. It was so nice and hydrating. I was actually debating whether to repurchase this or to repurchase Angels on Bare Skin. I went with Angels because I love it, but this was really great too. Next up, we have the Origins Mega Mushroom Advanced Face Serum. And this was really good because it was really nice and hydrating for my skin. And it also helped to calm down the redness on my skin and brighten my skin up a little bit, which is really good. I haven't repurchased this because I'm using other serums, but this was really nice. Next up, we have another little sample from Lush. This was the Jersey Bounce, and that was a shampoo. This was a bit weird. I wouldn't repurchase this. It had lemon juice in it for shine. It had eggs in it, which is fine. I'm not against eggs. But it had chunks of sea salt in it for texture. And I didn't particularly love that. I felt like I was washing my hair with sand. It was really weird. But... Yeah, I mean, it worked fine, but I, yeah, no, I didn't, I didn't like it. Next up, we have another of the Mario Badescu oil-free moisturizers. So this is the Mario Badescu enzyme cleansing gel. I've spoken about this before. I did really, really like it. Again, really good for a little bit of exfoliation. I like the texture of it because it is a gel. I felt like it didn't like dry out my skin or anything. I am getting back onto the Lush train now. I was using this while I was at Mecca because I wanted to use products that were from Mecca. But I really do prefer my Angels on Bare Skin and once I went back to that, I was like, why did I ever stop using this? But I mean, this is really good. If you're looking for something that's quite cheap and still works well, this is really great. Next we have a Blistex Lip Conditioner SPF 15. I love this. This is really great, really moisturizing. I have two on the go at the moment, one in my beauty room, one downstairs. Love it. Next up, we have a little sample of the Smashbox Photo Finish Blemish Control Primer. And this one is really great for blemish prone skin because it does have salicylic acid, which like I said, helps to clean out the pores. It exfoliates from the inside out to make sure that your skin stays fresh and you don't get as many breakouts also really helps your makeup to stay on. It's really good. I've got a full size of this one now. Next up, we have a little sample of the Kate Somerville Goat Milk Moisturizing Cleanser. 
I didn't love this one. It smelt incredible and it's supposed to be good for sensitive skins, but I just found that my skin felt too tight after using this. When I was using this, I couldn't really delay after using my cleanser before using the rest of my products because I just felt like my skin was like dry and needed love and I didn't love that about it. Next up we have a YSL Touche Eclat. This was in the shade 2. I did really like this because it really brightens up under the eyes and because it had like that salmon-y peachy tone to it, it helped to counteract the darkness under my eyes. I love these, they're great. I would definitely repurchase. So next we have an Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Diffuse Light. This is my favorite powder to set under my eyes. I'm wearing at the moment. I just find that it really brightens the eyes because it has a bit of a yellow tone to it. So it really brightens up under the eyes. And because it has a little bit of a glow to it, it doesn't look too matte. It still looks quite radiant. I really love this. Next up, I have two of the Nivea Pure and Natural Balms with Milk and Honey. I love these because they're in a wind-up formula. I feel really weird about touching lip balms. I, it, ugh, I just don't like it. So I do like wind-up lip balms. I find that they're really great. Next up, we have a Maybelline Baby Lips in Berry Crush. And this is still quite full, but the reason why I'm throwing it out is because in my how I used to do my makeup in high school challenge, I used this. And I'm pretty sure it is the exact one that I used in high school. And I haven't been to high school in like two or three years, so I feel like it's time to throw this out. Next, I've got one of my MAC Pro Longwear Concealers in NW20. And it still looks quite full, but there is no way to get it out. I don't want to smash it and get glass in my concealer, but I can't take the top off either. I wish this was like in a pot or something. Next up, we have a Nivea Lip Butter in the flavor of Vanilla and Macadamia. And I did really like this. I found it really nourishing and moisturizing. However, I bought a new one and it's so hard to get the tin open. I don't think I'd repurchase another one of these just because the tin is really hard to open up. Next, we have a little deluxe sample of the Alpha H Liquid Gold Smoothing and Perfecting Mask with Lavender. Now, I really liked this. I found that it really smoothed out my skin and helped to brighten it up a little bit. I didn't think it was that wow, though. I wouldn't repurchase it just because I feel like it's going to be expensive. I'm pretty sure it is. And I didn't see that much of a difference in my skin. Also, it was a little bit stingy for my sensitive skin. Next, we have a Benefit Sugar Bomb Lip Balm. And the reason why I'm throwing this out is because, again, I've had it... Probably for four or five years, it's just been in my handbag. I think I used it like twice. Next, we have a little deluxe sample of the Skin & Co Truffle Therapy Serum. And I really liked this. I found that it was really hydrating. It smelled really good too. Like it smelled like macadamias or something, but it was really nice. I don't think I repurchased this just because I have other serums that I love that I would repurchase, but this was good. Next up, we have a Bare Minerals Original Mineral Veil. And I loved this to set my makeup. I found that this was really great. It helped to make my makeup transfer proof. I really liked it and it was pretty good for baking as well. I don't think I'll repurchase it though because the RCMA No Color Powder I like a lot more and it's a lot cheaper. Well, it's not a lot cheaper, but you get a lot more. Next up, we have the Lacura Beauty Transparent Powder. And this is one of my favorite setting powders ever. And it's $5 from Aldi, which is really great. Next, we have the Elemental Herbology Cool and Clear Facial Cleanser, and I really, really liked this. Even though it's a foaming cleanser, I don't normally like cleansers that foam up, but this one was really good and I didn't feel that my skin was too dry. Next up, we have another MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. Next up, we have a MAC Cosmetica Gold Mini Lip Delushes. Lip Delushes is absolutely one of my favorite lip balms. I find that it's so moisturizing and nourishing. However, it's like $32, so it's really expensive. So I'd probably just stick with Blistex for $5, but this is so good. It's so, so good. Last but not least, we have a small size of the MAC Strobe Cream, and I love this. This is so good. It's very, very similar to the L'Oreal Lumi Magique Primer, except this one is a little bit thicker. It feels a little bit more moisturizing, and it's got this beautiful like luminosity to it. It looks a little bit bluey, purpley. It's so beautiful. I would definitely repurchase this again. So that brings me to the end of this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. 
If you did enjoy it, could you please give it a big thumbs up? That would be so amazing. And if you would like to, subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't already. That would be amazing. And I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye!